Welcome to Workload Automation video series. In this video, I will demonstrate how to update agent configuration parameters on a control agent for iSeries AS400. We can use CTM AGCFG command in order to update certain configuration parameters on the control agent for iSeries. I'm going to show you which parameters is possible to update from here. So, after typing the command, then it's necessary to press F4 and the agent configuration screen displays. So we can update these parameters from this agent configuration screen. Uh, most of uh, the relevant uh, parameters are the port numbers, the permitted control and server hosts, and also if we go one page down, we will see that it's possible to enable the agent debug. I'm going to show you how to update one of these parameters. So for instance, I'm going to select this server to agent port number. I'm going to change this value and then I will hit enter to save changes. Now let's see how to update the rest of agent configuration parameters. In order to do that, we can execute ctmcfg and then press F4. This will display the configuration utility screen. Now let's display the rest of agent configuration parameters. On configuration table name, let's put uh, config. Um, and then in configuration parameter name, let's put the star and then hit enter when the output field appears. Here we can see all the parameters uh, as the agent is configured. Um, you can see that it's not possible to edit any of uh, these values from this screen. Now let's see how to update one of these parameters. For example, I'm going to take this option, the communication option, that is related to the use of uh, uh, SSL. Now let's go back to the configuration uh, utility screen. We will type again config. Um, in this case, instead of display, we will use star update and um, I will paste the parameter that previously copied from the other screen. We'll hit enter and then we can see here is the parameter, the current parameter value. I'm going to put it, uh, change it from N to Y and then I will hit enter. This in order to save changes. Now let's display the parameter updated just to check uh, the new value we set. Now we can see here that the SSL value is set to yes. This means that the agent is able to use SSL. Here is also a command to update the same parameter by the command line. We only hit enter to update the such parameter. And uh, here is also the command to display the parameter after we updated it. Now you can see that the SSL value changed from Y to N to disable the SSL. This concludes this video. Please visit our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you.